morning, my name is Katie Faye. I am on Weight Watchers and this is what I eat in a day. So this is Sunday, December the 11th. I um, work Sunday through Thursday, so it's my first day back to work after the weekend. And I am having a egg white omelet and fresh fruit from First Watch Cafe. Um, I thought they were kind of a small chain, but apparently they're a big enough chain that they are in the Weight Watchers app, uh, which is awesome. I'm really excited about this breakfast. Let me show it to you. This omelet is called the healthy turkey. And then I got fruit on the side and it is, are you ready for this? Three points for this giant omelet. It's got turkey, spinach, tomato, and feta cheese. The only thing in the omelet that has points is the feta cheese. Um, and yeah, this is my breakfast. So it is almost three o'clock and I'm still not super hungry yet, but I decided to eat something just so that I don't eat so late that it ruins my dinner. Um, so I am having a baked potato with two teaspoons of the, I can't believe it's not butter light, and then a quarter cup of the reduced fat Mexican blend cheese, and of course a little bit of pepper. Um, so I mix that all together. I'm going to eat it. That is eight points total, um, three for the cheese, one for the uh, butter and then four for the potato and that leaves me with 15 points left for the day. All right for dinner we had a 10 point garlic hoisin stir fry. What you're going to need for this recipe is one bunch of asparagus, half a cup of unsalted cashews, some minced garlic, about half a cup of hoisin sauce, and a little bit of either sesame oil if you have it or olive oil if you don't. But anytime you're making like Asian inspired food, if you want to take it to like that next level, um, sesame seed oil is the um, secret to doing that. We also ate this over udon noodles, but if you don't have those, in the past we've made this with whole wheat linguine, whole wheat spaghetti, just whatever kind of noodle you like to put it on top of. So to start, I added a teaspoon of sesame oil into my frying pan and I preheated that. Then once that was in the frying pan, I added in a bunch of minced garlic until it became fragrant. I did all of this on medium heat, by the way. If you are going for like a true stir fry, um, you would do high heat and then add in your ingredients in the same order I did. But I knew that I had to wait for noodles to boil, so I just put it all on medium and heated it all up at the same time, and it tastes perfectly fine. Um, after the garlic is fragrant, you're going to want to add in your half cup of chopped unsalted cashews. You can buy them pre-chopped. We bought them whole because they were a little bit cheaper that way. Um, and I knew that I would have time to prep that during the meal. By the way, this meal I took this video before I cut out like a bunch of dead air and sped everything up to two times the speed was only 28 minutes. So this is a pretty quick weeknight dinner. Um, so add in the, the cashews and then I'm adding in my chicken. Now my chicken is fully cooked. I used shredded chicken that I actually made Yesterday when I made a chicken pot pie, I had some leftover chicken and I'll make sure I link the recipe to my shredded chicken below here so that you know exactly um, how to make that. If you don't feel like cooking your own chicken or shredding your own chicken, you can do a rotisserie chicken. You can buy pre-shredded chicken from the store, um, whatever. It's, it's all about making life easier for ourselves, right? So... Add in the cashews and I'm adding in my chicken since it's already pre-cooked. I just need it to warm through. After the cashews and chicken were added to the pan, I added about a quarter of a cup of the hoisin sauce. I just used my half cup measuring cup and I filled half of that up. So half of a half cup is a quarter cup. Um, and then I stirred it all together. But once I added the asparagus, because... You add the asparagus last because it takes the least amount of time to cook. Um, but once I added the asparagus to the pan, it was looking a little dry. So I went ahead and added another quarter cup so that it um, was a little bit saucy. Because again, I knew that we were serving this over noodles. So I stirred that and then basically just cooked it until 
the asparagus was cooked and everything in the pan was warm. And for as simple as this recipe is, it is so tasty. Now we did use udon noodles tonight. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that was probably my far my favorite noodle to have with this dish. Like I said, in the past, I've used whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat linguine, um, mainly just kind of long noodle <laughs> noodles is what I've used. But the udon was by far my favorite. It was a little um, chewy and just so delicious. And a little bit of sauce goes a long way with the udon noodles versus the um, whole wheat linguine or spaghetti, you have to add a little bit extra sauce uh, into the pan. So that, I will say that the udon noodles went a little bit of sauce, went a lot further with them is basically what I'm trying to say. And then I just boiled them. You, you boil the noodles for seven to nine minutes, which in my book means eight minutes. Um, and then I drained the water out, added them to my bowl. Um, I will say the serving size was a little confusing because there's like these two bundles and the serving size said two thirds of a bundle or 57 grams. Um, and I didn't want to like eyeball the two thirds of a bundle. So I like literally measured it out to get, um, 57 grams of noodles, <laughs> but all of the noodles that I had cooked weren't even 57, and I cooked um, two entire bundles of the noodles. So I ate about 24 grams of noodles, and I tracked that as half a serving. Um, if I had tracked it as a full serving, then dinner would have been 12 points instead of 10. So that's that. <laughs> um, it was a little bit confusing figuring that out. And then... I did make the noodles separately. When my husband makes this, I think he likes to toss everything together. I personally like to make it separate just because Weight Watchers, it's easier to track the noodles and then the, the dish separate. And so tomorrow, the, um, the stir fry was like seven points. And so tomorrow for lunch, if I just want the stir fry, but I don't want a 10 point lunch, then I can easily just eat the stir fry veggies with something else. Um, and so I like kind of having that flexibility in it. After I added my noodles to the bowl, I did add just a little bit of hoisin sauce. Um, for me, I did about a tablespoon. And for my husband, I did about uh, probably two or three tablespoons um, just so that the noodles got good and saucy. And then I added the topping on and this made the stir fry itself made four servings. Um, and then I went ahead and just put the other two servings in our leftover containers so that after they cool down, we just have to pop the lids on them and then they are good to go. Um, grab and go leftovers for the rest of the week. I also wanted to point out the flexibility of this super simple stir fry. In the past, we've made it with flank steak. Um, my husband and I were talking about maybe next time making it with ground beef um, instead of steak if we ever wanted to have it without chicken again. Tonight with the chicken was one of our favorite um, renditions of this meal, so definitely love the chicken. You could also do ground turkey breast, ground chicken breast. Honestly, like whatever is easiest for you, whatever you have on hand. Um, it's a super simple like base recipe that has a lot of flexibility in how you make it. Um, and I think we found this recipe about two months ago, and we've had it like every other week. Uh, at least once. So it's definitely a hit with us. And even though it's not like the most point friendly dinner, um, especially if you use um, linguine or spaghetti noodles, it can be a little higher in points. Um, it's so tasty. 
But anyway, here it is all plated up. Uh, and then, of course, you can see the two little leftover dishes that I have together. And then you can see exactly on Weight Watchers that it is 10 points, 7 points for the stir fry and 3 points for the noodles, which leaves me 5 points left in my day. Um, so even if I did eat more points in noodles than I tracked, then I have a little wiggle room. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to the gym, um, but I just laid in and I lost eight tenths of a pound, um, which is like I'm 14 pounds total now. And I'm so excited because I think this means my little like plateau where I was like losing two tenths of a pound, gaining two tenths of a pound, losing half a pound, gaining six tenths of a pound, losing a quarter of a pound. Like I think that little pattern is I don't want to say over because I'm sure I'll have it again in the future but for the time being I think we're past that um which is super exciting and I need to remember this moment and I need you guys to remind me of this next time it happens um because I really did just keep staying in my points except for like the night before my birthday where I ate all those cookies I literally just stayed within my points every single day regardless of like what the scale was saying um and how I was like feeling emotionally and I think that that has helped anyway I gotta get dressed I'm going to the gym and then I gotta go to work and start today's vlog so bye thanks for